Welcome back to another episode of Mania Loss. Hey mate, how you going? He's very excited, he needs this little bit of a morning feed, but um, my main focus this morning is getting this little guy sorted. I have a bit of a plan, you need to calm down a bit because I'm um, just trying to do a bit of filming here mate, you're going to get a bit more food in a minute. I know it's been a rough ride for you, but you just need to calm down. Um, what we're going to do is, oh, a little bit of pill in there, you just can't win sometimes. Um, I'm going to swap this guy out underneath Leo and Storm. The main reason is I want to get some crop milk into him because the crop milk um, has some really amazing properties in it. Just like antibodies and all these kind of things that's going to help his immune system um, and also give him that little bit of boost he needs because that crop milk makes him grow very quick. Um, and that's something he has been lacking. It's something that I haven't been able to provide for him. Um, and going forward if you we want him to be big and strong we're going to have to do this a couple of times so what i might do is just rotate him in under there for a couple of hours i'll take out both the other babies i'll bring them in here under the light they will both have very full crops um yeah we've just got crazy birds everywhere so they'll be nice and full so they'll be fine for half a day or so in here which they'll only be in here for about an hour or two just enough for this little guy to get um some more crop milk in there. I haven't fed him this morning, it is early in the morning, um, just so that we can put him out there. He'll be hungry and he'll annoy them, um, both Leo and Storm, and they should feed him. So that's the plan. We'll take him out there now and just um, do a bit of rotating around. Come on, little fella. Hey, what are you doing? I know you're hungry. I'm going to put you under Leo and Storm. They're going to give you a little bit of a present today, which is crop milk. It's going to really sort you out. Um, I know a lot of people weren't too, made a few comments about this little container, it's the feed bowl and I just cut out the um, the mesh, this this stuff, whatever it is, the coconut husk stuff in there. Um, the main, there's two reasons why I did that. For this dish it's higher and he can't get out, because if he gets out and falls out um, over night time he's going to be away from the light and he's going to get cold and die. Um, so that's why I wanted the higher smaller one so he can't really go anywhere. He has been pulled around the sides, which is fine. Um, and also this is very um, coarse, so he can dig his little claws into it. That stops um, what we call spade leg, where the legs muscles don't um, develop properly because the legs slide on the slippery surface. So you need something to get traction onto. You're showing off now, you're rolling on your belly. You want me to rub your belly? Oh, look at you. All right, let's get you out there and sort you out. Alright, let's try this out. We'll just see first how much crop milk these little guys have got. Wow, these are almost the same size as him anyway. Come on you two, now just come. So what we'll do is we'll um look at the size. This is so this. These two here are bigger than him, and that's the crop milk difference does. So we might just sit both of them in here. And we'll put him in there. Just see. He's already wants a little bit of a feed. So feed me, Storm, feed me. Come on. I'm sure you'll do it when I give you a bit of privacy. She wants to. She'll feed him in a minute. This is a good sign that he actually is trying to get um, crop milk from her. He's definitely trying very hard. I might just leave him be. I might roll him back on his. He's just getting too excited and he rolls over. So I'll just leave him be. Hopefully she can give him a bit of a feed. Right, so we got Leo and Storm's baby here. We're just going to keep him in here for, I might just wait maybe half an hour to an hour and I'll just keep an eye on the other pair. I don't want to put three chicks in the nest at this point. I just don't know if I want to put that much stress on Leo and Storm. So what we'll do, um, we've got both their little babies here. 
and um, both of them main thing with this is that you keep them warm and at the same time seal the crop milk that's in there you need to make sure that um yeah before we try this we're going to make sure they've got plenty of food in their bellies um, and we'll just put them in under the light like this and they'll be fine they'll be warm um, and they've got plenty of food and then we'll just rotate them back out later and we'll bring our little tiger grizzle back in here okay? all right so let's have a look and see how our little tiger grizzle's going it's been um two or three hours um i'm hoping that they have been feeding him so let's have a little look oh wow look at his big belly so definitely been getting some food there which is good um what i might do now is swap back the other two that are meant to be in here um back where they're meant to be so that's good he's obviously been there's some seeds in there as well which is good to see um, and plenty of water and there's a little bit of crop milk you can see in the bottom here so that's going to be full of good antibodies and a whole bunch of stuff that's going to help him develop a strong immune system and just be a stronger little pigeon all around so very happy that um, that little idea worked um, and now it's time to get um, their babies back in here anyway so that they can stay in here the rest of the night um, and then we might swap him out and do this again tomorrow just for an hour or two just to get um like I said, all the goodness in his little belly. Righto, Leo and Storm's babies can go back in here. It is a little bit of mucking around, but um, if we can save that little tiger grizzle, I'm more than happy. You can see these guys still got plenty of food in there. Alright. Thank you very much, you two. You've done a good job. Alright, let's put you back in your little nest box. Hey, okay, yeah, you're looking much better after getting a bit of pigeon milk in you. I'm very happy that um, that worked, to be honest. Look at all that goodness in there. I'm going to start feeding this guy softened seeds very soon, um, along with that um, wheat bix kind of mix. But things are looking good for this little guy. You know, you might be at a little bit of a disadvantage, but I think everything's gonna be fine with you, so it's gonna be interesting to see. He's definitely starting to get some black through in his wings there, so he's definitely gonna be a dark color. And because he's got that little white patch on top of his beak, he's either gonna be a pied or um, he will be a tiger grizzle. So we're definitely gonna do, like I said, everything we can for this little guy because he's cool he's going to be super tame another good thing about using these bowls they are ceramic um whatever that kind of porcelain ceramic -y type thing is and then once this warms up this acts you know absorbs all the warmth and then just keeps him extra warm as well so it's not a bad idea especially with just one chick it kind of keeps him all locked up you can see the other ones are doing little poops out the side there as well so yeah, we'll see how we go. He's still alive and that's the main thing. And you're there too, noisy. Alright, so I actually made a little bit of a mistake. There is a cockbird in here, the two brothers, the two icy colours. I think it's that one. Um I would say so. The parents to the two babies in here I actually took the wrong cock out to the block. Doesn't really matter because those chicks are feeding themselves and the hen's been in and out. Uh, so that's the hen, but I've taken the wrong one out because I think this one is 7.4 and one is 7.8. So we need to bring 7.8 back, take 7.4 out because he's the really noisy, aggressive one. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab him, take him out to the block now, um, and then we'll swap him around, bring the proper one back and we'll see how excited she is when she gets reunited with a partner because she does want to set on eggs again so um yeah we'll do that and keep her happy come on yeah mom Right, I'm gonna swap out these pigeons. 
bring him back here because he was paired up with the um, the barless hen. Um, so what we need to do is get him back out here with that one, and then we've got to bring this cockbird here back home. Just a little bit of a muck up there. The little puppies curious to see what's going on. Come on! But everyone seems pretty happy. He's like, oh, he wants to come out. Come on. You ready? Let's see what happens here. Hard trying to do this one hand. Oh, still got to get used to being in here. Come on. So this here, that this one is a cockbird that we need to take back home because I do want to try and breed another round or two out of him because the current um and I hope he's not trying to pair up with his mum he probably has because he's been out here with her but we'll swap these pairs around um and fix that little mistake I made the other one's sitting down in under here so uh yeah we'll get them sorted get him back in the box and hopefully get you back with your hen you're looking quite nice out here in the countryside I reckon she's enjoying being out here. Well, it is a beautiful view, much better than my little tiny backyard. I think that's the big father sitting on the eggs. It's pretty cool. They are just like so much tinier than I'm used to, but they are kind of like, you know, I guess they're the right size for the size of the high flyers because they are a lot smaller than um, a normal size, like racing pigeon anyway. Alright, so we're back home now. Um, don't forget to hang around till the end of the video because um, I do have some bonus footage from the high flies and whatnot. But, um, was successful having a little tiger grizzle baby under there basically I don't want to leave it under there I don't want three chicks under there um, I don't want to um, disadvantage any of the babies from these pair because these pair as you know these ones are producing the best ones for me at the moment so their main priority is just to keep pumping out babies um, so that we get a good foundation of these type of birds in our flock over the next few years so we need to just get them you know pumping out babies for us plenty of food and water in here for these guys um, and we'll just check on these ones they're going to need a little bit more food I did change their water out before but very soon they're going to be hatching these eggs I just got to keep an eye on them because I want to make sure we have no troubles and we make sure that we get um, the turbosol in here um, I will put some in here shortly just so that we are on top of it and these babies get the best chance they possibly can so that's good come on watch out watch out come on uh, I'll just leave him out there for a second actually no come on come here come on there's puppies everywhere out here you're not safe. They'll just use you as a chew toy. In you go. Alrighty. So, just getting plenty of birds in here. What are you watching? Is there a hawk or something out there? You need to get used to them because when we move, there's going to be plenty of hawks. So you guys need to get hawk smart on the wing pretty quick. Where are we? All these little young birds are you know, doing pretty well. The ones I wanted to check on are these ones in here. They actually are learning to eat by themselves, so I'm just making sure that this little thing's topped up all the time because they definitely are eating by themselves, which is something I want to encourage, but the crop's pretty full on these little ones. Come on. Oh, I'm so excited to see how this one turns out. But I don't know what's been going on in here. But she's laid two eggs in there. 
not sure if I'm gonna let her sit on them yet. We'll just wait and see. Um, hoping to make a few big changes in here, which will basically probably see all these go. We've bred a few rounds out of it. Um, but just give me a few days to think about it because we're getting plenty of birds now. Um, we need to get, the main priority now is probably to get the ones we got up flying, you know, into a new loft and up flying and then just concentrate on breeding our better ones and we need to get this guy down for a round or two um, and I think I've made a figure out a way that we can do that without disrupting too much in the move so stay tuned for that um, hope you enjoyed the video this is pretty much the end of it now um, just stay tuned after this because there is about three or four minutes of um, the birds on the block just relaxing come on come on These guys a little feed. Come on. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank <laughs> you. 